All right, this movie is going to be about uh, Spanish, well, European exploration in the age of contact, but uh, primarily it's, it's going to be about the Spanish uh, because, you know, Texas becomes a Spanish colony, a Mexican colony, then a U.S. Uh, state, but uh, it wouldn't have started unless <clears throat> we had uh, the Spanish get here first. So, uh, these first few slides uh, that we're going to look at here are mostly vocabulary. Now, when these guys came to explore, you have to think about, about what they're doing. It's completely unknown, wide open. There are no maps. There's nothing anybody knows about this area. So this is this is pretty brave stuff these guys are doing. Um, so like I said, the vocabulary here, uh, a lot of it's going to be stuff you already know. You know, 1492, Columbus, that sort of stuff. Um, but uh, feel free to pause the video to make notes on any of this stuff that you don't know, like some of these terms like conquistador, the difference between conquistador and explorer, uh, those might be things that you you don't know the like the finer points. All right, um, one of the vocabulary words to uh, pay attention to is going to be uh, the three G's. That's going to come up here again in this this presentation, and that is God, gold, and glory. Uh, that's kind of the motivation behind uh, exploration for a lot of different people. Um, a lot of the motivation behind uh, the, uh, the, even the poor people who go as parts of these, these, you know, exploration missions. So the average soldier who volunteers for this, or even just the, you know, the, the crew member or, you know, servant or, you know, lowly kind of guy who's, you know, puts his name on there, hey, sign me up for this because, you know, I want to be a part of this. And God, gold, and glory are the, the big deal there. All right. Um, so we're going to get into... Erase that and go to this next slide here. Okay, so uh, as you can see again, more vocabulary here. There's going to be quite a few slides in this presentation that uh, you can go through and just pause it and uh, take notes on that stuff as you need to. Now, the big three. The big three are France, England, and Spain, of course, as you can see. Uh, they're the big three countries that go exploring in the New World, uh, or the Americas, meaning both North and South America, um, claiming huge tracts of land. Uh, Spain claims the entirety of South America, pretty much uh, half of North America, and England and France split the other half of North America. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty big land grab by all three of these. You know, it, it's funny, England, the least of all, ends up winning out. But uh, that's, a, that's another story that you'll learn next year. All right, so, you know, once they begin to explore, what they, they start to bring back is gold but they don't find gold in Texas, you know, so why do they come back? You know, uh, well, one of the reasons that they come back is that this represents a huge economic opportunity. You know, you've got all this wide open land that can be used and claimed and can be used to develop, you know, uh, new raw materials for the empire of Spain. Now, let's talk about that motivation thing. You know, we talked about gold, God, and glory as the three Gs. When you think of Columbus, why would he come, you know, across this ocean and, and lots of people think, you know, the world is flat and you fall off the edge? Well, 
educated people back then in 1492 didn't believe that. They believed that actually the world is round. They understood math and navigation and all that sort of stuff, but uh, they didn't know how big it was. So they didn't know how big the Atlantic Ocean was. They didn't even have a concept that the Pacific Ocean existed. Didn't know it was there. I mean, they didn't even know the Americas was there. Um, but uh, if you're the first son of a poor family of merchants, your inheritance might not be much. You need to make your way in the world. So that's what's motivating Columbus, that, that gold, um, you know, to make your family's name, you know, famous. That's that glory part. Um, because, you know, as it says right here, you're allowed to keep a percentage of everything found. So if you find an empire like the, you know, Aztec, Incan, Mayan, all those guys that have these massive wealth of gold in them, and you find a, you, you get to keep a percentage of that, that is, that's a vast amount of wealth. Um, so, you know, Columbus actually ends up becoming uh, the governor of a Spanish colony because of his, you know, his success, even though he was looking for the Indies and found America. But uh, that's a whole nother story. All right, so looking at, uh, you know, God, gold, glory, that's your motivation. That's why go explore. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about this in class. Um, this slide was what we'll use in class, but uh, here we go. So soon after the explorers, we get conquistadors. Those arrive to colonize, to conquer, to take over. That's the word, what the word means in Spanish, conqueror. Um, the Spanish colonize the Gulf Coast. They start taking the whole area over. Um, Cabeza de Vaca is one of the explorers that we're going to talk about here. He's a guy who, not by choice, uh, lands in Spain, er, in the New World, in Texas actually, and ends up walking th all through Texas, getting kidnapped by Indians and all sorts of stuff. We'll go into his story more in class, but. Uh, he has all this horrible stuff happen to him. You'll find out a lot about him in the reading. And he is the reason we know about a lot of the tribes that were wiped out uh, after Spanish exploration and colonization. So we will uh, look at that some more in class as well. All right. So... Other explorers, Coronado is searching for Cibola, that's the uh, famed cities of gold. He gets all the way up into Wichita, Kansas, north of Texas. He's claiming the land essentially from what will become Kansas all the way to Mexico for Spain. Um, De Soto is also searching for Cibola, uh, but both are unable to locate it because it doesn't exist. Um, and we'll talk about where that myth of Cibola, the cities of gold, come from uh, a little bit more in class. All right, so um, let's see. going to bump down here to our last slide. So the French. Now, the French do have some colony or a colony in Spain. Sorry about that noise. That was a delinquent cat. Um, La Salle is an explorer for the French, and he comes to set up a colony um, and build a fort. Now, he's supposed to be building that fort on the Mississippi. However, he ends up building it in, uh, on the Sabine River in Texas uh, because he just lack of accurate maps. He's navigating as best he can, ends up in the wrong place, um, but uh, he ends up unsuccessfully colonizing uh, the efforts however make Spain realize how important the area was now we're gonna talk about in class and what I want somebody to do is ask me ask me about the donut okay 
So uh, there's an idea there that we're going to talk about. So uh, ask me about the donut. There might be a red ticket in there for you.